All right, we're here with Arizona coach Jay Johnson, who's halfway through the Pac-12 schedule. Um, you guys are six and nine after being swept by Stanford, but had been playing really good baseball heading into that series, and, and that's obviously a bigger sample size than this past weekend. So how do you feel uh, about things overall as we head into this, to the back half of the league schedule here? Yeah, we're, we're going for it. It's, uh, there's been some good. There's been uh, some uh, games that we feel like we let get away last Saturday night, um, but that was the number two team in the country. Uh, I felt like for the majority of that series, the competitiveness of the team uh, was good, was in place. Um, we just didn't make the pitches we needed to at the end of Friday and Saturday's games to finish those off. Um, so really, uh, it's important that we maintain a consistent approach. Every Pac-12 series is the same. Everybody has good players. And uh, that's been a good recipe for us for the most part. And so uh, we'll continue to do that. I was talking to Coach Lawn about the, the pitching issues over the weekend, and the one thing that he pointed out was hits with two strikes. You guys, I think he said, gave up 13 hits with two strikes. What would you like to see the pitchers do in those two-strike situations that maybe they didn't execute as well uh, against the Cardinal? Yeah, I think, that, I think that's, you just mentioned the word execution. If it's, uh, you know, a dirt curveball, you know, do we get it low enough uh, to where the hitter can't touch it? Uh, where it still has some deception to maybe get them to offer at it and swing. Uh, if it's a stretch fastball per se, that it is uh, off enough to where they can't put good bat on it. Um, so I think it's just pitch execution. Um, again, I don't want to make too much out of the weekend in terms of uh, our pitchers because they've done a good job for us and it was a, it was a good team that uh, took good at bats with two strikes. We need to be a little bit sharper. And um, I think, you know, the margin between winning and losing both Friday and Saturday was really small, you know, if we can make a couple more pitches and spots. And so uh, just small improvement. And again, it goes back to a very consistent uh, approach of this is what we need to do to be successful and then execute those things a little bit better. Do you view what happened against Stanford as kind of an outlier for the pitching staff or did it signal in your mind, <laughs> hey, we need to change some things? No, no. Um, I think uh, everything is day-to-day. -day. And again, I think uh, remaining... Uh, a solid consistent message of what we need to do to be successful uh, we need to throw strikes first we need to throw low strikes we need to be able to move the ball in and out effectively change speeds and uh, and then eliminate the free bases you know first pitch strikes two out of the first three uh, things that they've been really good at um, is where we need to stay and, and probably just be a little bit better and you know Good teams make it harder to do those things and I think you have to tip your hat to the opponent last weekend and then we have to get back in, in character of what we want to do. So you guys have you have yet to beat Utah as the coach at Arizona um, and they've been kind of a strange program they've um, they, I think they made the tournament a couple years ago won the conference mm -hmm. right in the regular season mm -hmm. um, then this year their coach was suspended uh, for the first 15 games they really struggled what is it about the Utes that has kind of given you fits and what do you think you need to do to to turn that around this weekend? Well, you know, much like Stanford, um, it's been the end of the game. I mean, two years ago, we led in the eighth inning all three games and um, lost all three games. Last year, one of the games we led in the eighth inning. So four of the six games, we had the lead in the eighth inning. So uh, finishing games out, I think for us, if, if you were to point to it, if our uh, starters can get a little deeper into the game, which is sometimes a little tricky because both Cody and Michael pitched good, um, you know, and struck a lot of guys out. And, you know, Stanford ran some good two-strike at-bats. I think the, the deeper they can get us, the better. Um, and then I think, uh, you know, we're just going to have to have to do what we've done offensively in terms of get lead-off guys on base, uh, chain quality at-bats together. And, um, again, what happened a year ago with any team or even last week is completely irrelevant with what happens this weekend.